Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the DB Query Builder. And also, we will see the CRUD operations using the DB Query Builder. Laravel's Database Query Builder provides a convenient, fluent interface to create and running database queries. It can be used to perform most database operations in your application and works on all supported database system. Alright? Before using the DB Query Builder, make sure database configuration has been configured in your application. And if you don't know that how to configure the database, then you can go to our channel and uh, watch my previous video which is on database configuration. Alright, now we have already configured database configuration in my application. So now I am just able to use query builder okay now i am going to show you how can we perform the crud operations in laravel using query builder okay so switch to the project and just go to the post controller and here you can see in the previous video i have created this method get post method okay it was showing all the posts all right Let's check this. So switch to the browser and just go to the route post. Okay, and just press enter. You can see here the post, first post and second post. All right. Now let's create methods for create post, get post by ID, update post and delete post. Okay, so let's start with create post first. So switch to the project and just inside the post controller let's create another function so just write here public function let's say function name is add post all right and simply return here a view which is add post all right Now add the route for this function. So just go to the web.php and here just add route get and URI. Let's say add post. Add the controller name which is post controller colon colon class. Okay. And add here the function name which is add post. All right. And here just add the name post dot add. All right. Now save this file and uh, let's create uh, this view. So just copy this and just go inside the resources directory, then view. And here just create a new view. Add post dot blade dot php. Okay. And here inside this file, uh, first of all, just write the HTML5 boilerplate. So just type here exclamation sign and press tab. Alright. Now just add here a title db third operation. All right, and inside this, uh, first of all, let's add the bootstrap for CDN. Okay, so just switch to the browser and just go to the get bootstrap.com, and here just click on get started. Now copy this CSS and paste here. Now copy this JSCDN and uh, just paste here all right and inside this body just add here a section so just write here section mm, like this section and inside this section just add here container then row 
and add here the column column md6 add the offset md3 okay and inside this just add here a card so just write here card then card header and inside this add here the header like add new post all right then card body and inside this uh, let's create a form here so just write here form and let's create the input field for the title and post uh, body okay so just write here form group and create label label for let's say title and just add here post title all right and then input type is equal to text name is equal to title class form control okay also add the placeholder so just write here placeholder enter post title okay just close this now here just add the text area so just write here form group add here the label board post body so just write here body post uh, let's say description all right and here just create text area so just write here text area class form control okay and add here the name body also sets uh, set the rows so just write here rows the okay now close this text area and after that just add here the submit button so just write here input type is equal to submit and value value is equal to submit right now save this file and here just add the add the rate csrf all right and inside this form just add here the method post okay now go to the post controller and here let's create another function public function and function name let's say function name is add post submit okay and here just write b colon colon table table name which is post okay so just write here post and just call the insert function so just write here insert and inside this insert pass here the array and inside this array uh, just write here title and inside this function just pass the argument request dollar request okay and here just write here request arrow item all right and for body just write here body dollar request body all right and here after that just simply return here return back with post created and simple, simply add here a message post 
has been created successfully. All right. Now create the route for this function. So just go to the web.php file and here just add route post and add the URI add post controller name which is post controller class uh, method name which is add post submit ok so just copy and paste here add the name so just write your name post dot add submit all right now copy this route route name and just go inside the add post .php file and here just add the action double curly bracket and route and just paste here the route name post dot add submit all right and here just add this message so simply write here add at the end if station add uh, this one post created okay so just paste here then just in div oh, all right and inside if just add here div class uh, class alert alert success ok alert success alright also add role is equal to alert alright and inside this div just print the message so just write here session get and just add here post uh, this one post created all right okay now let's create a post so switch to the browser and just go to the url and post okay now press enter okay you can see here the form uh, just add the class to the button ok so just here add the motor step class for the button so just write here btn btn success ok now save this file refresh the page alright now let's create a post so just add here the title so I am just going to type here third post title Okay, and description third post description. All right, now click on submit. You can see post has been created successfully. Okay, now let's check this post. So go to the URL posts. All right, and you can see here the third post. Now inside this post view, let's add the bootstrap. Okay, so switch to the project and just go inside the post.blade.php file and here uh, from just cop copy the CSS file from this file and just paste here after the title. Okay, and now copy the JS. Alright, and here just paste here. Alright. Now just add the table here. So, first of all, add the section. So, just write here section. Then container row. And add here the uh, column. Empty six. And add here 
uh, it's 12 okay and inside this just add here the card so just write here card click in card header add here all post okay and in here just add there the card body and inside this just create a table okay so just write here table and the uh, body inside this create a row then edge and just write here uh, post a title and here and just write post body okay now inside uh, just cut from here and just add here t head okay i just paste here and inside the t body just add here uh, at the rate for each dollar post h dollar post okay and here just create a row in pd and inside this double curly bracket and just write here dollar post arrow title okay and for the body just write here td dollar post body okay now just remove this now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page okay at the table class so here inside this table just add the class just add here table okay now save this file and refresh the page all right now let's uh, fetch the post by their id okay so just go to the post controller and here let's create another function so just write here public function and function name let's say function name is get post by id okay and just write here the id and here just post is equal to db colon colon table add the table name so just write here post and where id comma dollar id okay and just call the first function okay and simply return here of view let's say view name is single post okay and also pass this post so just write here compact and just add here this variable okay post all right now um, just add one more uh, return view okay now save this file and now let's add the route for this so go to the web.php file and here just write route colon colon get and URI let's say posts and add here the parameter id controller name which is post controller okay class colon colon class comma function name which is uh, get post by id okay so just write here also give the name so here just write post dot get by id all right 
now save this file and uh, let's create this blade file okay so just copy this and go to the resources directory resources then view and here just create a new file single post dot blade dot php right and here i am just going to copy from here all the text and just paste inside the single post okay now just remove this form and just remove this or you can also use this uh, form so only just remove this action okay and also remove this method all right no need to add the csrf all right and also remove this and just write here post the title post details all right and here inside the uh, input field post title just add here value is equal to double curly bracket and simply write here dollar post arrow title all right and uh, inside this text area just write here double curly bracket dollar post arrow body okay now save this file and also remove this submit button okay now go to the post.blade.php file and here uh, let's add a link here so first of all add the ticket and just add here the action okay and inside this td just create a link href and here just add posts and simply write here double curly bracket dollar post arrow id okay and inside this anchor tag just add here view okay save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page you can see here the view link okay if i click on this link you can see here the single post okay if i click on this you can see here all right just add the class to the href so just add here class btn btn success okay refresh the page um, here refresh the page all right now let's see the delete operation so go to the post controller and here let's create a function public function and function name let's say function name is delete post and here just pass the id and inside this just write here db table and uh, add the table name which is post and here just call uh, the where okay and inside this just pass your id comma dollar id okay and call the delete function okay this delete method delete the post which id is passed here okay which id is passed here now simply return here so just return back with uh, just pass here the key post deleted okay and here just add the message 
this has been deleted successfully all right now create the route so go to the web.php and here and just route colon colon get and just add here uh, delete dash post okay and also pass the id here so just write your id then post controller colon colon class add here the function name which is delete post all right just add here the name post dot delete all right now save this file and uh, just go to the post.blade.php file and here mm, just add uh, before the table just write here at the rate if uh, session has this key ok post deleted just write here in diff and inside this uh, just copy this div and just paste here all right and change the key so let's copy and paste here all right now save this file now add the delete link delete link uh, so just here just add anchor tag href is equal to URI which is delete post and pass here the id dollar post arrow id ok and class btn btn dancer ok and just add here the text delete close the anchor tag alright now save this file and let's check it so switch to the browser and go to the posts URI and here you can see the delete link ok now just delete this record so I'm just going to click on it you can see here post has been deleted ok and last let's see the update operation so go to the post controller and here let's create a function public function and just write here update uh, update post all right uh, create a function edit post all right and here simply return a view uh, view name is edit post all right now create the route so go to the web.php and here just write route dot get edit dash post all right and just add here the parameter id all right and here just write here the post controller colon colon class and function name which is edit post all right and also give the name post dot edit all right now let's create this view so just copy and go inside go inside the views directory so here I just create new file 
edit dot edit last post dot blade dot php all right and here just copy from here let's copy all the text and paste inside the edit post all right now here just add method let's say post okay action and also add here the csrf all right okay inside this controller uh, just pass the parameter id and here dollar post is equal to db table name so just write here table table name post and uh, just write here the where id is equal to dollar id okay and simply return here uh, return uh, view and just add here compact okay and just pass here this post all right uh, edit post and now here just add the submit button so just write here input type is equal to submit class btn btn success okay and just add here the value submit okay or you can see here update Now save this file and let's add the link. So go to the post.blade.php file and here just add a new link just before the delete link. Tag href uh, URI which is edit post. So just write here edit dash post and pass here the ID. So just write here dollar post arrow id class let's say btn btn info okay and add here the text edit close anchor tag all right okay now uh, just add here edit post now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the edit button now just click on it uh, right let's check so switch to the post controller and Inside the post controller uh, db table this where id okay and just add here the first method all right now save this file and switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the first post title and first post description and this update button okay now let's create the update function so just go inside the post controller and here just write here public function and function name let's say update post all right and here just write request dollar request all right and inside this just write here db colon colon table posts uh, where id is equal to dollar request arrow id okay and inside this edit post 
just add here after create csrf just create a hidden field just type type hidden and name is equal to id and value is equal to double curly bracket just write here post arrow id all right save this file and here just uh, just write request arrow id all right and call here just update function and inside this just pass the array and just write here title dollar request arrow title okay and body arrow dollar request arrow body okay and uh, here just return back with post dated and just write here a message post has been updated successfully all right now save this file and uh, let's create the route for this so go to the web.php and here just write route post and just write here the update post controller name which is post controller colon colon class and add here the function name which is big post right and here just add the name posts dot update all right now copy this route name and just go inside the edit dot uh, edit dash post dot grade dot file and here inside this section just add here double curly bracket route and just write here the route name post dot update all right and before the form just add here just show the message so I'll just copy from here just copy this and paste here now change the key post updated okay this key also change here all right now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and here just refresh the page uh, sorry just go to the post and now click on edit now change the text let's say updated and also description updated now click on update So oh, it's not working. All right, just cut from here and just paste inside this form. Okay. Now just refresh the page and click on submit. You can see here the post has been updated successfully. You can see here post. Now you can see here the first post updated. Okay. Now update this post. So just click on edit. Now just add here. Let's say two, two. Okay. Now click on update. You can see here post has been updated successfully. All right. So in this way you can perform the CRUD operation using DB Query Builder. So that's all about query builder and CRUD operation in Laravel 8. So thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question, 
you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching